Cooney, your art Sherpa, and in around an hour, I'm going to show you how to paint this adorable, cute, sweet pig bottom. So grab your brushes, grab your paints, and come back and meet me at this easel right now. All right, I'm going to see you soon. We don't have music, Tom? So this is live. Normally, then there's this. Then we're supposed to go to music, and then we sing the little heart party song. But we don't have that today. I didn't know we didn't have we, that today. We didn't have that today. I told I, I We'll have that next time. We're going to have that next <laughs> time. No, I thought you just meant the cool intro. Oh, yeah. No, like, okay, so like we had that cool going. Doctor Who intro. So now you put me on the spot. And I don't have one today. See, look how good I am. <laughs> this is like totally fine. I don't even have one of those. No, so today, this is an interesting day. My friend Margaret is on the control panel switching cameras yep. and handling sound. So definitely let us know how sound is. And John is on the mic just talking to you guys. I noticed there were a lot of members of the Breakfast Club, people who came in early chatting. Yeah. You guys are just the coolest ever, ever. So yeah. let's say hi. Hey, everyone. So out there, we I mean, Rose is there, Kim is there, Shannon Phillips is there, Mary, uh, Dottie, Jen, Jen. Oh, my gosh, so many people. Uh, hey, Mark Muir is out there. Uh, I got to see some of his videos. They're really good. I like his, Go uh, Mark. his TARDIS You got a YouTube TARDIS channel. Video. Go Mark. The, the TARDIS, <laughs> uh, did you see the... Yeah, the TARDIS box? Yeah, the TARDIS box. Yeah, I showed box. you the TARDIS box. I showed him the TARDIS box, Mark. I don't know. Although, I liked... Jake. Like your cat. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Mona, of course, is out there. I saw Blue Butterfly. Uh, yes. There's a, it's like... The know, Breakfast Club has gotten big. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Oh, Greta's out there, too. And Greta is guarding the house. She's protecting the YouTubers from intruders. No mailman may come disturb our film time. So I've got my sippy sippy today. I want to show this off to you. This is really, I think, beautiful. All right. Because it's sort of, you know, early on a Tuesday. So I got appropriate sippy sippy. Today is a traditional Japanese jasmine tea. Mmm. Claire's out there too. She Claire! Has, Hi, Claire! She has popcorn Hi, Claire and Bear. Sippy sippy. She has popcorn and sippy sippy. Do you yep. like my sippy sippy? Claire, isn't this beautiful? Isn't that pretty? I got this at the local Asian market. Carrie thinks the Breakfast Club rocks too. I think the Breakfast Club is awesome. I'm, I'm actually really fond of the Breakfast Club myself. I'm going to try to start. It's the coolest thing in, in the world. If you're new to the channel and you haven't clicked out because you thought this was bananas, um, how this works is I'm the Sherpa and I show you how to do a painting one step at a time. We get through the whole thing. We don't skip any steps. We don't fast forward, which is why these videos have crazy long play times. Um, today I'm going to be using an assortment of acrylic brushes with Taclon fibers. I like to paint, um, a brand called Creative Mark, which is not a sponsor in any way. This is like literally just where I spend my own money. When I have any budget at all, I still get these guys. I really like them, though I have really come to like Simply Simmons recently by Dallin Raleigh, also not a sponsor. Um, today's paint, if we can go to the palette cam. Woohoo! She went to the palette cam! Everybody clap for Margaret! She's rocking it! It's so scary being back there. You guys have no idea. Yep. We're We've got yellow ochre, or also known as yellow oxide. We have cad yellow medium, and guys, if you're concerned for safety or budget, you can always buy Hue in any paint line. Um, we have Cad Red Medium, and again, safety or budget, just buy Hue. Phthalo Blue, Dogs Eating Purple, Burnt Sienna, and Titanium White. Coming back to the face. Oh, she's so good. Oh, my goodness. Go, Margaret. You're doing really good. <laughs> um, so here's the deal on cadmium because there's been some, I'm going to just talk about it a little bit. Don't eat paint. Cadmium's dangerous if you eat it. Um, or inhale it. You don't want to get it in your lungs. So don't sniff the paint and don't eat the paint would be my general recommendation. And if you feel you're in danger of eating paint, just switch to Hue. Though I don't know that that's particularly safe to eat paint of any kind. You know, none of these are labeled like food, food grade in any way. So that's just my professional Sherpa advice. We've got a nice um, 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm going to sketch in our little piglet, but of course, I'm going to ask Chuck, who I know is a little bit behind on traceables, but I'm going to ask Chuck to do a traceable because I don't want drawing to be the barrier to you painting. Drawing is just an art skill. 
and you can work on it in a lot of places and don't let that stop you from painting. And I'm gonna be sketching in with these watercolor pencils by Artist Loft because they were cheap. I got a package of these, of what was it, like 12 or 20 or some insane package for six bucks. So that has really brought yeah. down the cost of watercolor pencils and I'm happily, I can recommend them to you. But of course, kids chalk from your kids chalk set still works perfectly fine. Any questions? Yeah, Carrie was asking where you get the SS brush, but I don't know what she means by SS. Simply Simmons? Maybe. Okay, so I found my Simply Simmons at Jerry's, and I know Jerry's Artorama carries the full line online, but they're by Dollar and Raleigh, and Dollar and Raleigh is sold a lot of places. And what I will say about it is, is that they seem to keep their edge really, really well. I've been really impressed, impressed with how they keep their edge. They have a line of brushes, um, not particularly expensive, where they apparently guarantee the edge for life. My mom, Ginger Cook at Ginger Cook Live, is going to be testing those. And uh, if anyone can destroy the edge of a brush, it uh, is my mother. Well, Dottie <laughs> just wanted to shout out and say thank you to, to our artist, Chuck, for doing all the traceables. Yay, Chuck Carson, so we'll the Animated Pencil has yeah, a channel. And check him out. He did a yeah. uh, collaboration with you just the yes, other day. the other day. We did the Doctor he, Who Weeping Angel, which I'm still recovering from, and she is I in the closet love, and wrapped up. I love his drawing of the Doctor, though. I mm -hmm. think it was really good. Yeah, he nailed this Doctor. Yeah. yeah. He nailed him. And so. we have, we're going to be doing another one. I found out about a follow-up collaboration. Ooh, well, you know, as soon as I start building More my doctor. box in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, you know, the doctor stuff's going to hit. Not as creepy as the angel. That was probably something more TARDIS related because the angel be creepy. Like the Daleks aren't even scary. They, they're they kind of like, you know, a trash can. They were they were a villain that was decided before anybody really knew. So we've got, hey, John, is the, okay, the up close cam is working. All right, we got the up close cam. We've got the hello cam. We got the palette cam. We got the sippy sippy. And we're all going to send love to Buddy Meyer, graveyard girl, wherever she is. She's really cool, and now that we've met her, we know that um, we don't just... She's cool outside of the screen as well as inside the screen. She's the oh, real yeah. deal. So if you're a fan, good place to be watching. Her stuff is really cool, and I think she's really cool. So here's... I'm going to sketch in the piglet again so you guys can see how I thought this out. I love piglet butts. Um, they just make me happy. I did a series of these for my fine art, which sold out at Creek Fest last year, and... You know, so now we're doing it again, a new kind of version of this. And I'd like to say that this version of this, I kind of owe a little bit to our own hardest young. And I may be saying that wrong, sweetheart, but she pays with us all the time. She has this incredible studio at the, in, in this like attic and there's windows and it's beautiful. And she paints with her daughters and they're all insanely cute and adorable. And so this is sort of based on a little twist that she did, which I was really impressed by. So I'm gonna sketch this in. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to make this rounded shape at the top, right? I'm going to round out this shape and then I'm going to kind of curve it out because our little piglet has sort of a fat bottom. We want, a, we want a fat bottom piglet. I feel like there's a song that I could be singing right now for this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and I'm coming underneath here and I'm going to bring these little haunches down like this. So what it is, is that it comes out and it rounds out and then it comes in. Now here's a little trick. Hawks. This is hawks of horses, cows, deer, pigs, pretty much any animal with this bone structure. When you paint them from behind, is going to have this rounded out triangular shape. Right? And then tendons always come right here. This is just a weird thing. It's for all hawks everywhere. It's a thing I've noticed over the years in art. That that's all hawks everywhere. Now the head is just peeking out, and what's nice is once you have the little bottom happening, it's real easy to get the little head to peek out, right? It's just a little peek here. It's not, it's not a complicated shape. I'm just sort of following this arc. I'm keeping them about the same distance apart. And the ears are also sort of based on triangle, but they arc up, they come down, and then they have a little tip, and then they come out. And it's really fun. You can take a notch out of your pig's ears and, and make it seem like he's, he's rough and tumble with the other piglets. He's a, he's a rough and tumble pig. This pig is too cute for bacon. I'm going to notch this ear because I think that's a cute idea. Um, this pig is too cute for bacon. Let's already determine that this pig will never, ever be food pig, even though I, I like bacon. But this pig is too cute. 
Do you have no overshadowing? I was I was up here adjusting this camera. You were adjusting the camera. Now, I I have a wish. They, they were noting that you hadn't put the wishes on there, so I was going to actually interrupt you, but I was waiting until you just finished there. Okay, so it's wish time. The wishes I have gotten in is there's been a wish for a grandbaby. Somebody is wishing that her daughter get her a grand baby going. And there's been a couple other just general baby wishes. And I think the baby wishes are really good uh, for this canvas because it's a piglet. <laughs> Do you, is there any other wishes that we can put up from the community who's well, here today? Here. I, was just, uh, I was just having a little sippy sippy there myself. You were sippy sippy? I was sippy sippying. Um, let's see. I'm sure there's going to be some wishes. Right now, everyone was celebrating how cute the pig butt is. The pig butt is super cute. We're on a, we have a slight delay. Mm -hmm. So there's about a 20, 30 second delay. I think it's longer than 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, how are you doing at home? See, they don't know that just happened yet. No, they won't. But then they'll see it and they won't know. I am a time lord in <laughs> video. <laughs> Ooh, that's terrible. So Thumbs terrible. down. <laughs> Sixty people out there with us today on a morning on a Tuesday. Yeah, and plus awesome. Margaret and John, that's sixty-two. <coughs> it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Great way to share and spread the word Thank and show up. Thank you. Us. Yeah. All right. Anybody have a wish? Oh, there, there's. Uh, let's see here. Uh, wishes for good health and wish uh, uh, for yes. Wishes for good health for everyone. That was a good one. I saw that one. I like that one. I second that. One. Yes, I, I wish for that for everyone as well. Uh, we have a couple of wishes for employment. Oh, all right. So uh, can we say the person who we wish for them specifically? Uh, if it, Amanda. Amanda is wishing for employment. And, and a place that you're really happy. That's what I wish for. And uh, Beth would like uh, us to send a wish for her little brush to adjust better in kindergarten. Oh, I so wish for your little brush to find her place in kindergarten and find a friend and just start to love it. My little brush is in kindergarten, my son Spider. So I understand, and he's an oddle duck. He's so mad about the bubble in his mouth. Yeah, and let's put Sue in there with some employment too. She oh, Sue. And if you've never been here before, you're like, why are they doing this? I don't understand what part of art this is. <laughs> yes, we are wishing what we do. If you're brand new here, if we have any brand new people, we like to place wishes in our canvas because it's important to remember that you're worthy of your dreams, your aspirations, and your wishes. And, and we're going we're gonna to wish for some help to some, to, for Lori. Okay. And, and everyone else who's, who's coming in there, there's a lot of wishes for, for health that I'm sure is just going to keep coming. So yeah, so I'm just going to put a big health for everyone. Health, and, and today's going to be health and employment for and our babies and babies for our and a happy kindergartner and, and for our entire community. Health for our whole community, a very happy kindergartner, a whole bunch of babies, and, and a whole bunch. Yeah, and you know, if you if you want us to to try to get your specific wishes, please you know send them to uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, you can come by our Facebook page. There's Instagram, there's Twitter, YouTube. there's email, there's all kinds of yeah, places. And we are, even though we're growing, we try to get through all those. I try to read everything. I share as much as I can. Yeah, we'll do it. You we'll know, do it I got some advice from Bunny on how to keep up as you grow. And obviously, she's like, I don't know, I got 5 million subs. So good oh, advice from somebody who knows. <laughs> Okay, so here's our little pig butt is drawn in. Our wishes have been placed on the canvas. I want to remind everybody that if you ever need to make a wish or message for somebody, the back of these stretchers is a fantastic place to do that. And we're going to get right into our colors. Uh, and you'll notice that the one color I had put in the materials list that I'm not using is Mars Black. I don't expect to use black today. And I'm going to pull out. This is called a filbert. And a filbert is called that because it's got this nice soft rounded edge. And what I like about this is it's a soft blending style of brush. It gives me a nice little, little finish to that, I think is what I would say, is a finish. Yeah. And I will do the QVC trick. So here's the deal. Why do I measure brushes on the show? To show you the size. The reason I me measure brushes on the show to show you the size is none of these brush companies have some sort of standardized oversight committee that says if the brush says 2018, like this one says 18, 
that it, it is a specific width, not in millimeters, not in anything that I can determine. I, for a while there, I thought it was like 18 millimeters, but I checked it and it's not. <laughs> this is not 18 millimeters. So, <laughs> which would be quite big. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get our brush a little bit wet. Watercolor, uh, not watercolor, acrylic is like watercolor. It's a water-based paint, but it's got a polymer binder to it. And I'm gonna put in my background, which is quite dark. If you've done the shroom guy, the fun guy, boom, I'll put it in the eye card there if you haven't, because you should. Um, this is a very similar background. So I'm gonna take a little of my blue, a scotch of my blue over to my yellow. I'm gonna get a nice little green going. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab a little of my burnt sienna and add it to that. And it's going to give me a deep forest green. I'm adding a little too much water there, trying to fluid it out. As long as people don't mind, mind me knocking my mic around occasionally, I'll be able to come over and help adjust the camera and such. I love that. And I'm going to start putting in this dark background into Mr. Piglet's world. Mr. Piglet lives on a happy, happy farm. He has a forever home on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is a forever home? A forever home is a home where they don't eat you at the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Black Beauty and Merry Legs were looking for. <laughs> so it's a it's a vegetarian farm. <laughs> it's a vegetarian farm. <laughs> I can see that. Vegetarian farm. This is this is a pet pig. My uncle Jensen who has crossed over, um, had a pet pig. He what, did. What was the pig's name? I don't remember the pig's name, but she used to go with him to the pottery studio Ooh. and to the gallery. And she, that's, that's how entrenched in, you know, his life she was. And I know it was a girl pig. And she lived in the house and had a bed and would cover herself up with blankets. And I don't know. I mean, she was gentle enough to walk around a gallery full of pottery. Kind of picture that. Imagine going in, you're going to go buy some art pottery with not cheap stuff. And there's a pig just wandering around the gallery, not breaking anything. That's just kind of mind blowing to me. But I come from weird people. <laughs> so what's funny is in the comments, I just, uh, our community just told me that tonight the Muppet Show is premiering. <gasps> And it's time to light the music. It's time to light the lights. I'm so watching it. I didn't know that. Well, you know, it's a Muppet hat almost. You, well, this certainly could be a little Miss Piggy tribute. I love the Muppets. I love the Muppets. Do you love the Muppets? I love the Muppets. Oh my goodness. I wonder if we should do a Muppet. I did not even know. See, that's the tent pole fun. that I missed. Yep, yeah, well, you know. I'm going to put the lid busy. back on my tea so I don't <laughs> put paint in my tea. In all fairness, we're pretty busy right now. In all fairness, we are pretty darn busy right now. We're a lot kind of going on. <laughs> we are. We're, we're all around doing stuff. It is, in, you know, well, I've got, you know, my channel. And right now I've got that creative arts collaboration, which is YouTube art and craft channels getting together to know each other. Yep. And that's, that is a full-time thing, trying to keep that organized and useful for everybody. So you guys get more content so we can have more hashtag collaborations. Did everybody like the hashtag? The love fall art? Did anybody go out and explore? I, I imagine. Yeah, we'll, it's we'll so out. fun. I think that's going to become a thing. If you thing. haven't, you should. Yeah. If you were to search like love fall art, the hashtag love fall art or hashtag pogast art or hashtag the oldest one which is love summer art which is where the idea first spawned from you get like a whole video art festival of just craft projects and different kinds of mediums and all kinds of stuff it's a lot of fun i enjoyed it so you can kind of see i'm not too worried about and i don't know if we should um ever get to the up close cam too let me i'll make sure yeah. it's just the video. oh we have a few times I'm just trusting Margaret to totally have her oh, kid together. Way off. Yeah, see, Margaret, if you know Margaret, <laughs> Margaret's got it together. I've known Margaret a number of years. I'm not going to out us, though, for how many years. Secret number of years. Greta's going to eat that mailman. She's going to eat them all up. She's not having none of it. You don't just deliver a package to this house. 
you need to think about it before you show up. <laughs> Red is like, uh-uh. And oh, if you're a cat, don't you just walk by this house. Don't you just walk by our house, cat. That's not going to be tolerated. She puts all the neighborhood cats on notice. Which is kind of hysterical. So I'm just putting in this lovely background. And I hope you're enjoying seeing how it goes in. And Margaret, it's really, it is so hard. What she's doing right now, you guys, there's, there's these switches. And as I move towards the camera, she's got to predict what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> and none of us are like, none of us come from the television. I'm going to sippy sippy for a second. None of us come from television or any kind of broadcasting background. We're entirely YouTube trained. And so when people are like, your camera works terrible. We're doing pretty good, man. It's, it's like, it's like Simon back there, isn't it? It's like a game. A really, really hard video game. <laughs> With not, not cute graphics. John is, uh, John is up, so I don't know um, if there's anyone to read comments. So if I'm missing something, you know. We were just talking Sorry about, about how, how hard it is to run the cameras. It's yeah, like, no. like a rough video game. No, it's, a, it's actually a really fun video game. It's a fun video game. So I'll check up in the comments. Oh, yeah, a lot of people were saying that they did love, love, uh, love fall art. Oh, awesome. And, uh, yep, lots of people were looking forward to the Muppets. Oh, the Muppets are going to be so, so big. You think? Mm-hmm. I did not even know that was going on, but I care that it's going on because I'm a big Muppet fan. I really was quite fond of the old dudes in the balcony. <laughs> They're just my favorite. What's so funny? What happened? <laughs> Peppa Pig? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell Luna. Hi, Luna. Can Luna come up and say hi to everybody? Luna's wandered in. She's kind of got a lollipop. I don't know why. You want to say hi? Say hi. 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 She's going to watch Peppa Pig. But we're going to teach her about the Muppets tonight. Say hi. hi. They're right there. They're through that camera. Can you see them right there? You can see all of them? They're painting. Why are you painting that? I'm going to paint a baby pig's bottom. Oh, good? <laughs> okay. Is that good? Uh -huh. Okay. Sharon gave you that. Sharon gave you that? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to talk to Sharon about candy. <laughs> That's a, I guess you know whatever it takes to get you through. <laughs> so, uh, John, you want to explain uh, Mr. Van Gogh, the puppet? on some puppets and we're, we're hoping to have some more visitors come um, the first one was uh, is, 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 is Vincent I can see if I can pull him in frame for you yeah pull him right in it's wait I'm on she's on the up close cam oh. so as soon as we're not on the up close cam there it is there's Vincent we're working John built Vincent himself from uh, YouTube in, in, in videos didn't you yep he used YouTube videos to, we have never built puppets before. No. And, uh, and so we found, uh, what was it? What was the name of the channel? You really like that channel. Oh gosh. Uh, I'll have so to. good. I've tried to get him to join the creative arts collaboration because he's such a good puppeteer. Uh, well, it's, it's, how about that? Um, well, he builds some amazing puppets. I, I like to build puppets. Guys. I, I was talking about the guy with the channel. You're already in the creative arts collaboration. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'll have to get my mic turned up, apparently. It's hard <laughs> to carry my mic and to... Uh, uh, talk to me? Talk to you. Hold on. So I'm just putting this in there. So, yeah, so we... Um, John went on that channel, and... I don't know where they're going. John went on that channel, and he learned how to build that puppet. I just think that's the coolest thing in the world. We're still working on Vincent. Vincent needs a body, and he needs a shirt um, and a vest. And we're having a little trouble mm -hmm. finding a shirt and a vest. 
Oh, I gotta um, make them. And then, you know, we're trying to build, we have decided that on the other side that Vincent Van Gogh and Bob Ross are probably best friends. Yeah, Bob, yeah, Bob is, is on, is in the works as well. Bob is in the works. I've seen Bob's pre-construction. It's pretty awesome. And, and a color monster. And a color monster. Because everybody needs a color monster. Mmm. My pretty, pretty sippy, cup. Sippy I love this cup. My kids are like, why do you get all the cool cups? I'm like, when you get a YouTube show, you can have a cool cup. <laughs> That's not a good thing to say as a parent because they're like, I want a YouTube show. <laughs> so I'm going to get another filbert, but I think I'm going to move down to about a half inch filbert. It's about that size range. I'll mm -hmm. do the QVC thing here again. Whoops. That's okay. See, it's a fun game. I don't know if you guys can see it. This way. Ah! Oh. oh, the lights. Again, we don't, We just have a bunch. Of, if you could see the panel of lights I'm standing under, you would be just like, what? <laughs> All right. So we're going to put in what we're going to do is called blocking. This is almost an underpainting. And we're just going to do the dark shades first. So I'm going to get a little purple and a little bit of blue. Right? I'm going to maybe add a little brown to it so it's not so bright so vibrant and I'm going to come here and I'm going to up to the bottom of his little curly tail I'm going to add this dark color I you know every time I do one of these it's it's like I'm always hoping that they translate well and you guys can paint them yep you know oh let me move the up close cam so that we can see it so I'm going to curve this brush stroke out a little bit, right? I've kind of created this little crease and you can just in, in have, a, have a good time imagining a little pig bottom. <laughs> and I'm rounding these strokes because I want to create a feeling of roundness right here. And this is, this brush stroke does actually help do that. So I'm going to round that there. I'm going to get a little more paint right here. I'm going to come down the inside of the leg and I'm gonna keep rounding it, rounding it. And then on the hawk a little bit, I'm going to also add this inside shadow. I'll take it a little bit into my green. All right, so this is what we're doing. Little blue, little purple, little brown, make a shadow. We don't really do a lot of black. It's a little blue moon. It's a little, did somebody say that? Or did I did. You, you're so bad. It's blue moon. <laughs> the nice thing about painting a little piglet bottom is we don't have to do, we'll do one with the piglet features, but I really, I love to see the piglets nursing. I don't know, there could be a whole series of piglet bottoms that happen to y'all. <laughs> yeah. Just because they amuse me a little bit. So I'm gonna just bring this around the curly tail a little bit. I wanna pull this out maybe a little bit more as I'm looking at it, because I know I've got to create these layers. At this point, if you've been with me for a while, you know a lot of these paintings are just about layering it up. It's about understanding the layers and then building up those layers, much less than it is about elusive concepts such as talent. Not that talent doesn't exist, but for the purposes of having an artful life, it's not a necessary thing. So I've got that little shadow happening in there. And I'm gonna make sure, I think my up close cam, we're gonna put some shadow at the head and under the ears. At the head and under the ears. I'm so glad you guys have been supportive of our longer format. Oh, every, every, they're, they're, everyone out here is having a great time. People are just cracking up <laughs> about, you know, the, uh, the jokes and the, uh, there's a bunch of, you know, uh, let's see. There's a bunch of running butt jokes, ham hocks. Oh, uh, please share the moon running moon butt jokes with me. Over I'm in my hammy. Moon over my hammy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's uh, you know, there are a lot of people are are uh, are just making uh, you know blueberry jokes and. Oh, awesome. Good. I so love that you guys do that. And listen, I appreciate, I've noticed that you guys have been on the Facebook page, you know, because here's the deal. I'm on there. I try to like everything. 
I try to read everything, but I, ne I can't necessarily always get to everything. Now I've got to kind of break it down to like on this day, I have this many hours for Facebook or on this day, I have this many hours for YouTube. So when I get in there and I see that you guys have helped answer somebody's question when I couldn't be there, I'm so touched. Aren't you touched, John? Oh, I'm yeah. so touched. Thank you for being such community members. Boy, is that going to work out well for you in the app? Yeah. 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 Now, I, I but really thank you guys for coming and joining us, mm -hmm. especially all of you came out to the Breakfast Club today. Oh. You know. For who, and for those of you who don't know what the Breakfast Club is and are embracing it, going, yeah, I'm a member of the Breakfast Club. What do they mean? I don't know. It's, it's so it's all the people who show up early to the show and start chatting and typing beforehand. <laughs> and, uh, so there's a there's Claire. A, yeah, there, there's a there's a whole bunch of Claire, Rose, Mona, uh, Mark comes out there a lot. Uh, you know, it's it, yeah. So thank you guys. You know, we really appreciate all your help. We've had some people support. come early in the morning and chat all day. I think that's the coolest thing ever. And I'm not stalking y'all when I come by. I just love to see it happen. Yeah, we want to just come in and jump in and see what's yeah. going on sometimes. So. So that's all, that's all that's going on. Now I'm going to take a slightly lighter color. I'm going to mix some brown into that, that blue purple mixture and it's almost going to create a gray and I'm going to get a little white, right? And I'm going to come here and just paint this lighter color. It's like a putty. It's a weird color. Now my paint's still wet. Right, and I'll make sure that I keep that where we can see what I'm doing. My paint's still wet, and what's nice about the paint still being wet is then it's very easy for me to blend in. If your guys' paint is just drying on you too fast, you can do additives like slow dry medium, slow dry blending medium. Those things work. Um, wet palette spray by Golden is fantastic if you can get it. I don't always recommend it just because every place is always sold out of it. But that is another good uh, slowing thing. There's um, a line of paint called Golden Opens, and they have slow drying times and supposedly perform like oils. And I say supposedly because I have not gone and bought a set of them yet. But I think I'm going to at some point buy a set and test. All right. And I haven't really, I mean, I guess I can just paint the tail back in later. I'm going to paint this. I don't know why I'm painting around that little curlicue. I just enjoyed drawing the curlicue in and then I got attached to it. That'll happen to you. You get attached to something you draw in and you realize you don't need it at this stage. You're going to draw it in later. But you like it, so you start painting around it like a crazy person. Yeah. Things that happen in the art. Things that happen in the canvas stay on the canvas. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you do have moments in the canvas. I have to I tell you, I have, I have epiphanies on my canvas. I do. So I'm rounding these brush strokes still, and I'm on a half inch uh, bright. I have a list of brushes in my materials list, and could you show that that the there was a question earlier about a bright mm -hmm. and what exactly makes a bright? Okay, a, a bright and a filbert. So filbert has a rounded tip, and a bright has a very sharp, crisp edge. The, the thing that we battle with all bright brushes is they lose their edge. I'm sure my mom has talked about this. I'm sure you've heard other artists on YouTube talk about this. So the quality of a bright is how long will this nice, crisp line edge last for you? That's what they're talking about. Not very long in the curly paint. <laughs> but then again, Dollar and Riley says they've got one that, you know, is supposed to last forever. Who wants to live forever? I don't know my brush. <laughs> There can be only one. There can be only one bright. The battle of the brights. I imagine funny, funny stuff in my free time. I don't know if anybody else has a very highly imaginative world, but I know I do. So I'm just making sure I've got a slightly lighter sh shade here, and I'm just making sure that this is that that my brush stroke reflects the shape I'm trying to talk about here. And I'm gonna get a little more white and come to this outside here. Now, there's other colors that are going to be coming in. There's going to be some pinks and some yellows and stuff. But what we're doing right now is creating a tonal study. And um, I know you guys ask me a lot, like, why do we do it this way one time, acrylic color ground? Why do we do uh, an underpainting another time or tonal, tonal value study? Because there's literally an infinite number of ways to get a painting in. And I'm just trying to show you guys some different sums. Because some of you guys were talking about art class. In the Breakfast Club, you guys were talking before the show started about art classes. 
And here's my goal for you, that art becomes a part of your life and that wherever you choose to take it, you can take it and you have the information you need to go there without some traditional art education. So you can take a class, you know, an amazing class and have some idea of what these people are talking about because sometimes in the art world, um, people get a little pretentious. <laughs> They get a little pretentious and they're not really understanding of the student phase or that you might not know something. Like, I don't know, we're supposed to come out all born knowing how oil and acrylic interact or that zinc cracks or whatever bit of information that they've got their little themselves wound up over. And there's, there's something, a lot of art teachers have something that they're wound up over or a belief that they have about paint. We love all the ones that don't. We love all the ones that don't, but I want you guys to be able to walk in anywhere. Yes. Right? And and just no. know know what, what they're talking about. So if they're not as accommodating as they could be, right? Mm -hmm. Then they're helpful. Like we, they can't all all be Carol Marine and then Carol Marine stopped doing her workshop on me. She stopped. Tim Gaggin has a really good workshop. Yeah. He does. If you're in, in his way. If you can be in his way. Because he has a little tour he does. Oh, he yeah, does sure. not know me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, he a tour schedule. He's got a tour schedule. Uh, Fredericksburg has this amazing art school. And I mean, I looked at them really hard. If I had any more free time, I'd go there. They have some incredible teachers coming in to teach. But teachers come in with all kinds of personalities. And I want you guys to be prepared for whatever is thrown at you. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, my mom is out there. She teaches workshops sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Very different style than on her YouTube show, though. <laughs> true. It's very true. <laughs> but she does. She has a, a, a wave and water master class that she teaches. But you can you can do that online as well. So see how we've created this sort of little shape here? The butt's all roundy. We've sort of already told the story of this rounded butt. And, and those kind of curvy brush strokes. Those curvy brush strokes really, really help. I'll hold this right up to the camera so we can see this. So you guys can kind of see, wrong camera. <laughs> Margaret's like, this game is sucky. <laughs> but you can see that these aren't about being perfectly smooth or, you know, anything like that. These aren't about that. They're not about being perfectly smooth. It's just about, you know, working this stuff in. I gotta tell you, I love being an art teacher on the YouTube. It is so cool. I like being on the YouTube too. It's so cool being on the tube of you. It's really crazy is that there are right now 65 people sitting in someplace else watching us do this. Really? Right now. Like right now. Because you're good at it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Margaret. But they're good at it too. Yeah. Now, now there's 67 people. There's 67 people. Are you telling your friends? Are they telling their friends? Hey, actually, there's, there's been quite a lot of, 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 I mean, like, man, there's a lot of people out there talking and making friends in the channel. I love and that. Really, I mean, like, if you guys have a chance to make it to chat, um, it's really good, a good place where you can connect up with other members of the community yeah. and, and meet up and, uh, We'll keep trying to post up the uh, the start times as early as possible so you yeah. guys can get together. And I might start organizing a pre-art game for members to play. We could do that on the live thing. I know. On, that, on the live on demand, we could uh -huh. do a, a pre-art game. That'd yeah. Be fun. Do a pre-art game for the Breakfast Club. Because there's an art game that I, I play and uh, Maricha and Bernadette and Secret and Claire play and sometimes Yosie. I really want to make game show prop sets. Game show, our game is such a fun game. No, I'm just, I don't know what that was. I don't know, but I want to make like a game Thumbs show. down! <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Actually, we had one before we started, which is really weird. We had a thumbs down before we started? Yeah. I have annoyed somebody so much, they had to preemptively thumb me down. Was, I, That's I reasonable. <laughs> Too much joking and carrying on. Too much joy. I deny your joy. <laughs> maybe, maybe they were upset with our early bad audio. 
Did we have bad audio at the beginning again well, this time? It was a little soft. I got to work on that. I'm we're fixing. working on the audio, guys. It's just... Takes us a minute. Maybe they were like, there's no video. It takes you too long to get on. I mean, it's like, I'll tell you what, nothing annoys people more than providing free art education. Yep. <laughs> Down with your free. I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Frugal Crafter. If you're not. Friend of mine. You should go check her out. She you should check her awesome. out. She's got a really cool thing going on right now for Maker's Care. She did this really cool oil painting and it's created around us. We might do a project here to help with Maker's Care. But here's my whole point of this. So basically Maker's Care is to support Make-A-Wish, which is to help kids get a wish when they're going through something insanely unbelievable, right? I mean, we all know that. And it's to help get them there. It's to fly them there. And, and so this is what the whole thing is about. And I get there like right away and somebody had thumbed that down. That's just crazy. Just against kitten puppies and wishes and rainbows, I guess. Just none of that. YouTube will have none of that. No happier children. We don't like it. I mean, it's just like, what? I kind of get when people give me thumbs down. I sing, I'm weird, I got a funny hat, and that can be annoying. But how you thumb down make a wish, I'm not entirely sure. It just, just what is happening in your day? I'm about to get a whole bunch of thumbs that I've never gotten wait, before. To, to, what are you highlighting there? So I'm, I'm now looking over your shoulder, seeing you just brush in some highlights. Yeah, so I was just adding some of this purpley white up there. Sometimes I like to add yummy bits of color around the canvas. I get, to, I get kind of relaxed and in a meditative state. Yeah, you just. And my tea is getting kind of like I don't know if you can see my tea, but I got this real jasmine kind of. I could read tea leaves for everybody. Then I can't do that. Do I need to go get some new tea for you? I don't know. It takes a while to brew. You could just do a, a, maybe a curry, maybe a pumpkin spice latte curry cup. Okay, hey, can Vincent say hi? Hi, Vincent. Bonjour, Vincent. Ça va bien? Oui, oui, yeah? No, that's like, no, no, no. You have pins in your head, Vincent. <laughs> they can't, all they're seeing is the hat. You look at me and all they see is the hat. They got to see Vincent. All right, you make me something to drink, Vincent. <sighs> so we got that in there. I'm rinsing out my brush. I'm going to, you can, you know, I can't as easily get to my water to change it out. So what I now have is cups of water over here, just waiting to be adopted. So I've got him in now, basically. And what's really fun is that I can start putting in some like more exciting texture and event and things there. So I'm going to grab another bright. See, it's the Bright by Creative Mark. And this is Ebony Splendor is a brand. I also like the Pro Strokes, which is, um, this is a really sharp Pro Stroke. Power Krill Pro Strokes have a really sharp edge. Are you? Looking for your tea maker. Oh, uh, it's in the kitchen. But just, just do, uh, you know what I'm just like, you want to do another jasmine tea? I can totally do that. He's going to do, it takes take forever to brew. You want to do a cup of coffee? Sure. Okay like a long time to brew and then nobody's getting any answers but that's okay you guys are talking to each other i'm sure you're fine <laughs> so i'm going to come here i'm going to pull out a little white i'm going to pull out a little red just a little bit this little pink color here i might even add a little yellow ochre to it right so that it's not so bright and i'm going to get this and i'm going to come up to the top here and let's see, can we, yeah, we got the up close can pull. I'm going to just lightly, and this pressure is so light. This is very, like butterfly wings. We've moved on from crazy psychotic cats. Butterfly wings. And I'm just very lightly putting this bit right here, just at the top. Right? I'm just putting this little bit right here. A little cad, a little cad red. A little yellow yellow ochre right now I'm putting this at the top just a little bit of this right here right here it's sort of fun to do just very painterly very loosely I'm letting the paint show I don't know if you guys can see how much it's showing all right I'll do here can you see that the paint is really showing through underneath you know, and hopefully you guys are getting to a place where you're relaxing when the paint is showing through underneath. Now I'm going to come into these ears and I'm going to work this in. 
because pig's ears are just beautiful, delicate petals and the light really shines through them. I looked at a bunch of piglet pictures and one of the things that I took away that I really liked was the way that the light kept showing through their ears. And so we're definitely gonna try to show that in some way. I'm gonna leave this shadow down here because I want the little shadow to, to show that there's, is this good? Okay, it's showing on an up close cam. And I, ho I hope the up close cam is hoping, helping this experience for you guys. So I'm just brushing that around there. I'm gonna get a little more of this yummy color. This is a really yummy color and you'll hear me talk about yummy colors. And some colors just look delicious to the eyes is what it is. And it's so nice to be with them. They just are exciting, yummy little colors that you like getting into and you're like, oh, I just, I wanna do a whole painting with that color. And it's fun to learn how to mix them, I think. Where I, I enjoy like discovering colors that I really enjoy mixing. So we've got that right there. Getting a little more CAD over here, right? And this will work in hue or, ooh, am I in my owl with my pumpkin spice? With soy. Ooh, it's caramel? Mm -hmm. When did we get caramel? I had a caramel left. Mmm. She had one caramel. A little left. coffee. So it's very nice. And oh, so I've we have 72 people in here. 72! Hi. I come back and it's like you guys full it's it's full of love. It's full of love. It's Honestly, we do have like the most love on YouTube. You no, know, I mean like literally it's out here just like everyone's like love. So we're at creator love. day. I didn't want to rub it in anyone else's face because they're talking about what it's like for them with their trolls and their stuff, and I'm like, yeah, art how to isn't like that. We're actually pretty happy over in our little sector of YouTube. <laughs> You know, we, and, and, and yes, Kim, thank you very much. We do appreciate everyone liking and making comments and remembering oh, to subscribe. Thank you, Kim. It, it helps so much to let YouTube mm -hmm. know that you guys were here. And, and when you tell your friends and you get it out there and you get the word out, it's really cool. It does we, help. We love that you guys are here when we're doing this. It, yeah. it makes it fun for us. It is. It honestly has made filming these so much more enjoyable. Now, I'm going to come. Now, this is where the bright matters because I've loaded this brush up right where you can see it's sort of halfway to the bristles i don't go all the way up to the ferrule here right and it's got a nice little tight mix on it and i'm gonna just make a little flick right here with these little pink hairs now i'm gonna come back with some even lighter paint here but i just want to add he's a little bit furry right isn't he this pig that is too cute to eat that will never be eaten He's never going to be eaten. Too cute for bacon? Yeah, Charlotte's Web, man. Does anyone remember that? That was a really upsetting book. Mm, not too cute for bacon. No, oh, that whole book was just like, if you weren't going to be a vegetarian, boy, at the end of Charlotte's Web and Black Beauty, you're sort of over it. I mean, those books created that community. <laughs> We're just like, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat Wilbur. Nope, we don't do that. I'm kind of still okay with killing spiders, but I don't want to eat Wilbur. Ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just messes with you. And uh, I think Shane was asking about the the traceable. We'll ask. Uh, we'll definitely talk. See if uh, Chuck. He's just. He's got. He's got some to catch up on. Oh, he nice is guy. literally our artist. He works for us on the app, so he designs all that great look for the app and everything yeah. is all Chuck. He's responsible for all of the brand. <laughs> all the brand. Uh, artwork all of the website design i mean like he's just yeah he's he's really design, he's just done it all for us he Amazing. really has so i'm going to come here on my little hawk and see if i've got it down enough to show it no oh, little pig bud and i'm going to just add a little touch of this to the hawk it's so fun isn't it it's just when you start to see the colors come in and layer and the little pig bottom and it's just so happy, right? And then once you understand how to do this, by the way, there's a whole world of pictures and stuff out there that you can go find that you can just paint away and you know, pig butts all over your house. People will be like, what is happening over here? There's pig butts everywhere. I don't know what to think. It makes me so nervous. I'm just adding a little bit up the little bottom. Kind of coming here. All right, now I'm gonna get into my yellow ochre, a little stronger in my yellow ochre, right? A little stronger there. Yeah. A little, little more of that. Fun stuff. 
we have a, we have a, uh, a a divided concern of too cute for bacon and bacon is still too tasty. Bacon is th super tasty. I'm well, just saying some bacon is too cute to eat. Bacon is a flavor, not a meat. So if you're vegetarian, keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> just unfortunately when we were vegetarians that was actually one of our rules <laughs> as long as it's sprinkled on it's a flavor it's a seasoning <laughs> we we try not to think about it and then add a little line there so see i'm just putting this like gold white color around <laughs> with this brush and it's just <laughs> fun we're just we're just this is this is about layers this is really about layering, right? And I've got this. Now when I come over the top with this gold, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull out a little of my gold, a little bit of my white. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to start just arcing this a little bit to say that this is round in the brush stroke. Even though this is very dry, you'll notice I'm not getting into my water a lot. And that's how I keep my very dry brush stroke going, right? That's how I do that. Just right over the top. And let's get a little of this gold and white up into the ear. Just a little bit here on the outer edges of this ear. Super fun. I kind of enjoy that. A little bit on the outer edges of this ear. So cute. He's too cute. So cute. Like my hat. Hat. Etsy. All of this comes from Etsy. That's where I find all the cuteness. Etsy. Mm. So Beth was saying that the watercolor pencils don't like to draw over acrylic. No, they don't. The chalk works much better. Chalk will draw over acrylic. Also, the carbon tracing paper doesn't like to trace over acrylic. Mm. So you got to move to like Conti or a chalk pastel. Oh, yeah. Because acrylic is plastic. <laughs> It is. Like pig butt can't deny. Two other brothers can't deny. I don't know how that goes. I don't either. <laughs> Someone was making a joke in the channel about it. <laughs> You're like, I want to sing it, but I don't remember I it. I know it well enough. I don't know the song. I'm looking for a detail brush. Sometimes when you see me looking through my brushes, I'm looking for a specific... Oh, no, that was put in upside down. That's not good for brushes. I'm going to get this small detail because I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to get this in. And I'm going to take a little blue and a little purple again and this will be dark actually this will be kind of a weird deal i'm gonna take those two colors i'm gonna come here where i had had my pig butt and i'm going to just with my purple paint put in the basis of my curly cue again which is kind of fun I have, you know, they, they don't really, I'm sort of doing a fantasy curl here. This is, <laughs> this is an emotional pig curl for this little fantasy pig that we're not eating, even though he's tasty. Okay, and so we're not going to leave it like that, but that puts in our shadow that we can deal with later. And I'm going to pull this out. I've got my sad little rag here. And I'm going to come in and get just a little more purple and blue, just a little more, maybe a little white. And I'm going to make sure that I've got just another coat here. This will just, this finishes it out. A lot of times in painting, what it is is you're just trying to give it a finished look, you know, and it takes a couple layers. It just does. My mom and I talk about this all the time, a couple layers. My mom used to have studio assistants in her studio and they would paint the underpaintings of the painting because she was producing so much work. She was like on QVC and stuff. She was just producing so much work. And that's something that um, a lot of studios do now. Is they have people come in from college and they paint in the first layers, the blocking layers, and the artist just comes and finishes it out. Weird, but it happens. So I'm just coming back with this purple and I like it. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'll move this down a little bit because I just realized I got down here. So, but you can see this ham hock. I did the same thing over here. I'm just adding this here. So it's that nice layering, right? If you need this anywhere, 
you know, where you're trying to make sure that there's this nice deep shadow, you know, you just put it in. Finish it out. Just a little layer of paint. It's super fun to do. Right? Super fun. Who's having super fun? I'm gonna think I'm gonna pull a filbert again. I, I, we're having a lot of fun chatting in the comments. Are you? What is going on now? Oh, all sorts of shenanigans. Shenanigans? Are shenanigans. shenanigans afoot? Oh, yes. So I'm gonna get some white. And it, it, it maybe even picks up a little gold, it picks up a little something. And I'm going to, at the back here, I'm gonna add this white in open dry brush brush strokes. I'm gonna come around this hip and add just a little bit of this. I've got this filbert. I'm pulling just the white. And when you do this, when you've layered it like this, then the white really pops and those colors come underneath and it makes a white object look more white. So what you're learning right about here with this pig right now is you're learning some of the basis for snow <laughs> and for super awesome white unicorns, uh, white bunnies, white kitties, all of these things, see? And then he's just popping, isn't he? His little whiteness is just popping. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this white and come along the hawk, just the top of this right here, and coming outside right here, very dry brushed. And definitely at the top of this ear. Here I am, at the top of that ear. Dry brush so that the paint underneath really, really shows through. And we'll have to switch to a small type bright to do the little hairs here, but this is, we're just putting this in. Now do something a little crazy here. If you can get to a little bit of clean yellow, my mine got around. Get some bright cad yellow, okay? And you're gonna add just a little bit to the top of him over here. Kiss it, kiss it right here. See, I'm kissing those. You're just kissing it. Kiss the ears and just be like, oh, just little dapples of sunlight, warm sunlight happening on him. Okay, just a little. Little kisses over here of the cad yellow and white. Now, maybe a little bit on the hawk here and a little bit on this hawk, and then you've created this feeling of light and warmth. And we are now going to get into our sharp bright, which I think we put in here. Do we put a sharp bright in here? Yeah, there it is. So I've got my sharp bright. And I'm gonna get back into just this white. And maybe it has a little yellow on it, but I'm gonna make sure that the top of the head has this lighter color coming up in the little fuzzy fur, right? And get this yellow, get this yellow, and work the outside edge of this ear where the light would be showing through. Just work this outside edge. And you may need to go back with some pure white here. It's just a weird little thing you gotta do. You're just having a little adventure here. You can come back with a little bit of white among the yellow and pull in that ear. But you do want the little bit of yellow to, it's weird, like sometimes I'll feel like, I've just painted that in, I'm painting over it, because it shows through. And that's what you're trying to do, is you're trying to let that show through. Now, all you've gotta do, I'm gonna add a little white right here, because it's bugging me, is you're gonna get your detail brush again. Right? And you've got kind of your yellow ochre and white that you have. You can even add a little pink to it, get to that color we had from earlier. Load up your brush. Now sometimes you'll have to wipe your brush out if it overloads. And you're gonna just get it on the tip here. You're gonna rest. Now is this, okay, good. You're gonna rest your hand here and on what would be the top of the tail, you're gonna add a little highlight. And then, but think, it's turning here so the sun would actually catch it. This is sort of a fun practice if you're just practicing like where would sunlight be? I switch the side, then I'm highlighting. And then I come off that curly cue. And that's how I get the shaded curly cue, right? And you're gonna need one more layer of very light paint. So you're gonna get some just white on the tip of your brush. Come up here and just hit the top too. And it may need to dry. We're gonna let that dry for a little bit because mine's a little wet. And so sometimes if your paint is wet, 
it won't behave. It just won't play nice. And so now we're gonna get our grass and flowers in. And put out some fresh water. You guys can get fresh water. I'm gonna have a sippy sippy, what's going on? Mm. Are we all still here? Are you here? There's, there's, I got over 70 people still hanging out here with us. Woo! You know what you can do right after this piggy? You can do the mushroom. You could yeah. be a fun guy with the, it's not live, but it's a fun guy. Yeah, there were some requests about lions, so I went and I grabbed some lion paintings you had done. So at the mm. end of the show, you can show those. So, All right, you want to see the lions? No, I have to wait until the end of the show. At the end of the show. If you want to see those lions, you got to watch. Because actually, when you guys stay the whole show, it, it blows YouTube's mind. Like, seriously. They just are like, what's happening? They don't believe it. They can't believe it's true. Yeah. I am looking for a half-inch filbert. Or an inch filbert. Those I think lovely filberts. The lovely wubbly filberts. There's the stampy cat reference. Are you guys sippy sipping? What are we sippy There's sipping today? Sippy sipping is happening. Sippy sipping. I love daytime episodes, but I like nighttime episodes because it changes my sippy sippy. Yeah. Daytime is is more juice. Daytime is more juice. It's true. I think. If everybody's up for it, I kind of want to put some daisies or some flowers in here, too, because I feel like you should be in a very happy, wonderful world. I think this is a no flower, no happiness zone. And no flower. So I pulled out some burnt sienna, and I'm going to come over to my cad yellow. And this is a way to kind of create uh, a similar look to some higher-end paints that I don't want you guys to have to buy. So you're kind of redding up your yellow there. You might even grab a scotch of cad. Okay. You can add a little white to it. And I'm going to come up into the green with this. And I'm going to add this over this dark green. It's very dry. Now I used Australian Sienna and iron, uh, what was it, that crazy golden paint I always like to use, but I can never remember the name of it. But anyways, it's very expensive and I don't have you guys use it. So this is a way that I can create a similar look without having to make us get into upgraded paints. And we don't want it to be, we want the green to show through. This needs to still feel green, but it needs to feel like there's just light on this field is what we're doing. So it's a very, very dry brush. And it's not the same as yellow ochre at all. We're just coming here kind of loosely. This is very similar to what we did in the mushroom guy, our fungi, a fungi. We're just bringing this around. Or are you gonna heat that or sip that? You're sipping my sippy sippy? This was not in the marriage contract. Not in the marriage. See, I'm sipping it from the wrong side because my owl Yum. is so cute. My mother got those for me for the holidays. They're very cute. So we're going to be doing a few farm. We're going to be at the farm for a little bit here this week, I think. We might divert to a plane. We can do some animals for a while for sure. Yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to be just, I, I feel like we got to get a cow and a chicken to the community. I feel like there's been a lot of very patient asking for cows, chickens, and pigs. You know, maybe a rooster. So, I'm getting deeper into the burnt sienna. See that brown over the green? It really changes the light of this painting when you do this. Dry brush means not a lot of water on the brush. And this can be a challenging technique in student paints, but look, I've done it. I've done this with painting party paints, which are just like the worst. So what Both you painting mean? parties, I'm not attacking painting so parties. What just, animal are we doing next? Um, they can vote, because they can have either a cow or a chicken next. Cow is, a cow has come up a couple times. Right? Yeah, I mean, we can do cow or chicken next. You guys just let me Mona know. Mona was asking if we'll do cow next. I could, for Mona, anything. Claire was saying that Maddie was just asking about a cow. I think a cow could happen. So I'm mixing a little of my blue over to my cad yellow. 
this is giving me a, a bright green, not all the way yellow green, but I'm going to get into here and I'm going to start pulling up these brighter colors in over this dark green. If you guys can see that, and I might need to move my close up camera down. You can always tell me, Miss Margaret, if I got to move my close up camera. John has to do that all the time. He's like, we can't see what you're doing. Well, what I'm going to try to do is change it so that. Uh, the person in the control room is in charge of the close-up camera? Well, the, the mic person will actually be sitting right on the other side of that camera. Oh, I like that. And that's why you wanted to change that. Yeah. So see how by putting these lighter colors, it suddenly makes this piece feel super finished. If I were to go too light with this value, though, I wouldn't be able to finish this piece off, just so you guys know. So try not to take it too yellow-green. This isn't quite a Kelly green, but it's certainly not a new grass green that we're going for. Got to walk outside and look at new grass, look at new grass. <laughs> now, there was a, another interesting request hmm. for a 57 Chevy. You know, that could be in the far. A tractor with a 57 Chevy. A tractor with 57, so I can believe you. Yeah. I didn't believe John at first when he asked for this because he's always asking me to paint cars. But then um, people wrote me on my Facebook page to say, he's not lying. We would like a car. And I feel like we should do a car here fairly soon. So that could be in the farm, of the farm, for the farm, fun on the farm. We could do, uh, you know, an old car in a field. I don't know how many people would like to. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would like to do an old car in a field. I might just be talking to myself right now. I, there's a lot of people out there. There's, there's some there's some funny boats like cow on a tractor. Cow on a tractor. Oh, John Deere tractor. <laughs> Let's do something that we can paint. <laughs> so I'm going to get a half bright for my Kukadu community, and I'm going to take my yellow ochre and my and my thalo blue, and I'm going to create a little mix here. And there's a little white in it, which is creating a nice tone. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come up and make some brush strokes that are like grass. And I'm going to cross right over, right over guys, let me get a little darker here, crossing right over my, um, and this is not, a, this is not a dry brush technique. I need a nice fluid flow because I want blades of grass, so I'm using my bright. And I'll bring some of these up into my world. Because what we're doing is creating that down here now. We're just creating some of that down here now. If you've got to get some blue, a little yellow, make a deeper color. Come in here. We're just layering up, layering up this grass that he's walking through. See, we're just coming up very similar to what we did on the mushroom. Very expressionistic. Yes, we are. We express ourselves. We're like Madonna. Nobody knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> You're just on a 30 second delay. No, no, I'm saying I'm just wondering if anybody knows who Madonna is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have the right demographic. Woo! The demographic YouTube does not believe exists. <laughs> yeah. They're like, there's no moms on YouTube. There's no dads on YouTube. There's no retirees. There's no adults. They don't come on YouTube at all. But I mean, I like, I like, but we have a lot of people in the teenage range too that paint with us. Yeah. There are people that just want to paint. All right. So we're coming up here and here we go. So we've got that sort of beginnings of those brush strokes happening for that grass. Now I'm going to come over into my yellow. It's quite light. It's quite a bright color. I'm going to make sure I have enough moisture and that I don't go into my coffee, which I know everybody's waiting for. And I'm going to create some delicate thought out blades of grass. These are just tip the edges of things. This is the sunlight is catching things. Okay. Maybe I'll imagine a cluster. This is very similar to what you might think about with clouds. Is I'll create little clusters of where the light might be hitting my foliage here. Just thinking it out. Now I'm just expressing this. I'm not 
really trying to render the photograph, right? I'm not trying to like look at grass pictures. I'm just knowing what I feel about grass and then I create those little highlights and it starts to really feel like grass. I need a, a sharper bright, I'm gonna look for my, this is my power krill. It's starting to lose its sharp, but it's still holding on for a little bit. So we're gonna see how it's doing. Get a little white into this. A little more white, a little more yellow. And then I'm gonna come up here, very light pressure, and I'm gonna go dab, 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 dab. There's, a, there's some grass that's gone to seed. Right, maybe another one here, dab, dab, dab. You could do this with also a detail brush. Maybe add some lightness just around this cluster, a little bit right here. I think we could use a little blade coming up here. Now I get these thin lines because I keep my pressure very light. That's funny, I think, uh, I think, it, I, I think it's Brian uh -huh. made a really funny suggestion out there. What did he say? That we, might, uh, we might have to run with. What? Well, uh, when, we, when, when we are big and famous uh -huh. and we have our own private line of, uh, of coffee, uh -huh. we'll have to have some cad flavored coffee. <laughs> our own we, private like, line. If we do that, if we create a private line of paint and coffees and stuff like that, will you guys meet me on QVC or HSN and we'll have a little day? That's funny. I, I think it's. We'll I'll have inside that. jokes that they're not going to get when we're like, this is cadmium flavored coffee. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I Thank guess, you, Brad. I, <laughs> Everyone I, 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 in the group will be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, what's happening? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, I, uh, I think it's, I think it's, it's Brian. He's got a, uh, it goes by, uh, where did the, the name go? E and Rob Bose pick 72. Okay. But it was funny. Y'all have some creative names out there. So I've got a bright and I'm going to get this light color again. I want to... I, th I feel like I want some flowers and some things happening here. Got this very bright. I want to, just thinking about how I want to get those in. This is just more yellow. So, all right, I'm thinking about flowers. I feel like we need some. I'd like some little daisies or something. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little, uh, this is interesting, guys. I'm going to mix a little purple and yellow, like my, my, uh, yellow oxide together. And you're like, what? Yeah, because these are contrasts. So they'll gray each other out. In a couple places, I'm going to make kind of a round. This is sort of a, a regular round. And then maybe here, I'm going to make more of an, uh, an ellipse. Can we see that? Cool. All right, maybe another ellipse right here. Some round. This will be sort of round. Here it could be round. I just feel like um, in my little happy world, in, in my, cause you know, dude, I grew up with like Heidi and Black Beauty and some, you know, Misty of Chincoteague and the Black Stallions. I think I have a very fanciful, magical way of thinking about the animal kingdom. Jonathan Livingston Siegel. So when I wasn't reading Dune, apparently I was reading really, did not like where the red fern grows. No, I don't like burying the dog at the end. That's not my thing. <laughs> I was like never into that. So we can just maybe another little round one here. And you know, change up the size too. We need some small ones. Put in small ones. And we may have too many flowers. I don't know. So I'm going to rinse out that brush. I think they look cute. They could end up looking super cute. So I'm going to take my white and interestingly just a little bit of purple and that brown. I'm going to create that. We kind of created that gray color. I don't know if you guys remembered it with the brown and the purple. Get a little bit of my white. And there's a reason why we want to get back into this. So once you find it, and if you want poppies, you know, there's just a bunch of good ones for uh, lessons out there. But right now we're going to do daisies. So I'm going to pull this little shape down. And how I do this is I plant my brush and lighten the stroke as I pull it out. And that's how I get that little tipped edge to my flower. And one of the things that I'm going to do that I've come to understand to do is to make my objects seem uneven and not uniform. 
I, I wish we embraced uh, our, our lack of uniformity in ourselves as much as we do in nature. It would be wonderful if we did, but we tend not to, to be very hard on ourselves. Not embracing diversity. diversity at all, you know, what the wonky ear. We don't embrace our wonky ear at all. Just complain about it, but it's probably that that actually makes us truly beautiful. <laughs> I mean, when I'm painting people though, it's I'm not looking for the most symmetrical thing ever. Right? That's, that's weird and never looks natural or beautiful, interestingly enough. It's the wrinkles and the odd things that make something really beautiful. No throwing this back in my face later, <laughs> John. <laughs> so I'm making smaller petals here on this flower, trying to just show that these have different sizes and What's going to happen here is I'm going to come back with two highlights, a yellow and a white, and then these little daisies are going to pop all over the place. And that is super fun. And then we may come back with a little foliage if we want, but we don't even need to. Honestly, your brain connects these flowers <laughs> to whatever structures they're supposed to be attached to. It's pretty awesome. And you see, I'm just not really working for these petals at all. This isn't. This is, this is why I'm actually very respectful to Donna Dewberry, is this is just an honorable, time-tested thing that we do as painters, which is that we tell part of a story and let the brain finish it, and that's what her whole program is sort of based on. So I am very respectful to her as an artist. See, look at that. I feel like that's so happy! Thank you, Gyeong. So cute. It's <laughs> so happy! This too cute for bacon pig is just like making me so thrilled. So I'm gonna come get some yellow and pull a little yellow out. Right, oh, I got a little green on it, which I don't, I'm not gonna worry about too much. I've mixed some white into it. That'll be really essential if you have student paints, the white will give you coverage. And at the top of the flowers, I'm gonna add a little highlight of yellow. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Not the whole thing, I don't paint out the brown, I just give it some of that, right? Just some, very light, see? And then they just pop a little bit. Pretty. Just pretty, pretty happy flowers. I really wanna see some pigs on the Facebook page and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I don't know where else we are, everywhere. <laughs> mm. See, and then that little yellow starts to pop that little yellow starts to pop. I rinse that out really, 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 really well. And I'm gonna get some just white I loaded on my brush. Hmm? I love all the little flowers. They make me happy. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to the darker petals to lighten it up, but not all the way. I want those shadows there. This will make them seem whiter than if you had just painted them white. It's crazy how that works, but this will seem whiter to people when they look at them than if you had just painted them with straight white paint and more real, and they will mm -hmm. so compliment you. That little step of putting in that shadow is so important to your end result. And that's, I think that's what makes people think that they can't paint is they don't know that they need that step. And so their brain says, well, I don't know, it's white, so grab white, and they don't think, I need to make a kind of weird off putty gray. <laughs> or what I really should do here is mix some purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. They would just not do that, because they would get a weird color and they'd be like, that's a weird color. But they wouldn't think of it as the basis of a daisy. They wouldn't think of it as like the beginning of a daisy at all. Hmm. But when you put this white, bright white over that, then it just stands out. And also that lets you leave some flowers grayed out a little bit so that they're more in the foliage. We painted a pig butt, a pig butt, a pig butt. Am I still wired in? I gotta be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Woo hoo, awesome sauce. That's pretty fantastic. That is pretty fan. 
fantastic. Bacon and margaritas. Bacon and margaritas? Daisies. Daisies. <gasps> oh. Margaritas. I like that so much. Bacon and margaritas. <laughs> that's so funny. I, I feel like that's what we should name the painting. Secretly. Secretly, it's bacon and margaritas. This is named bacon and margaritas. I like it. Now, before we go, we have a couple questions. Before questions. We, okay. So, one was... Uh, You're going to show the lines. We're going to show the lines. But what would be a good starter easel? Mmm. What is that thing over there? I love that thing. Oh. Because <laughs> it was really inexpensive. Can you tell me the brand? Yeah. I've got it pinned somewhere on my Pinterest board. And, and John's going to even hold it up and show it to you guys. This, I believe, is the, the Da Vinci by Creative Mark. This is my travel easel. It is under, it's like really inexpensive. You said you were just saying. Yeah, that. So that's for, uh, for just a standing easel, like if you want to get an easel easel, that's really good. And then the, um, you know, put the close cam on it or something. I don't know, it's some reality there, we don't need. Yeah. So it's Da Vinci and I love it and Jerry's has it and it's cheap. And I have, I got this for painting at a charity. Jerry's actually uh, uh, gifted me that um, here in Houston because I went and did some charity work and I, I loved it and it has been the best thing and I've, I've, I've recommended it like a bunch of times and everyone's written me back and said they loved it. So I love that. Of course, table easels and what you're looking for is something stable. So that's that. You, you want to see what else is on the questions and I'll show the lines? Oh, yeah. Or we not? Yeah, yeah, so, here. hopefully that's helpful. Let's see here. As I wait for the time delay. <gasps> Doing the secret. Hi. Yeah, you know, I, think that, I think that's most of the questions that we've had. All right, lion. It's lion. This is a long class if we were to do this. Wait, cool. This, is, this would be our longest class, like, ever. You guys would have to be like, I'm marathoning it. So that's one, and then here's, um, wait, I can do this. Another one in blue. I like to sometimes paint in contrasting colors, and so it's super fun for me. Those are part of my hoard. Um, actually, these are spiders. Yes. <laughs> Mommy gave those to Spider. Uh-huh, I did. He liked them. He wanted a lion in his room. You what? 106 likes, and right now we've got like over 75, 76 people hanging wow. out here with us. Thank you for your time on a Tuesday. Thank you guys for coming. And so us. much. I cannot wait to see you guys again. Um, I guess we're gonna do a cow next, and I'll, I'll yeah. design it and let you guys know when. We'll do we'll do like a colorful modern cow, something happy, something kind of fun and colorful and whimsical, and you know that you could do on a bigger painting and put in your kitchen. Yeah. Like while you're at it. I don't have a cow hat though. So I want to see you guys at the easel really soon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your hearts. I love that you guys get together. Maybe next time we'll try to play an art game before uh, we start the paint. So watch oh, for that yeah. one. We'll try it. I mean, we're going to I like art games. So we'll play an art game. A silly art game. Just get, you know, pencils and doodle pads and stuff like that and we'll play some kind of game. And John, you want to say? Bye-bye. We'll see you at these already soon. Bye-bye.